Hello, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to this week's edition of Four Wheel Drive TV. And what a big one it is. We've got our super tough off-road adventure from Hawaii. Let's get into it. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. What's up guys? Welcome back to Maui. I'm Keha Kuinabo. We got Simon here again, so we're gonna go take a run up the gulch. So today we got some different vehicles. We got Doug's Toyota truck. Yeah, no lifetime, sorry. We also got Phil's buggy, which is a Jimmy Smith buggy. I got my new buggy here. It's a Jimmy's 4x4 buggy. So today the plan is I'm just gonna head up the trail. It's been raining, so it's probably a bit slippery. So we'll see what we can do, see how far we can get. Through the year we had some rains and a lot of parts of the track got washed out so we're gonna have to try some new things, probably hit it a little harder. It's uh, gonna be more challenging. Hi, my name is Keone Derego. I'm owner of this property. We've had this property for about three generations. My brother-in-law came to me one day and said, hey, let's make a rock crawling course. I thought he was out of his mind to do it in here. There's never been a vehicle up in this gulch. This gulch probably consists of probably about two acres. This is the short side of the run. Probably take us maybe about a half a mile. Then we got another side that goes into my neighbor's property that go up all the way up to the top of the summit. We got access to basically to my property and then through my neighbor. And he's got 1,400 acres, so we got free range to 1,400 acres of just pure unadulterated fun up in here. The first two sections are uh, pretty technical. You kind of just got to go slow, feel it out. I mean, if we can get the grip, then we'll drive up it. If not, we might have to back up and hit it hard with some throttle. Hopefully we don't break anything. Just snap the rear axle. We had to take both tires off, jack it up. get a piece of metal pipe and pound that through. <laughs> okay, we get them? <laughs> Lucky we had extra axles around so we could slide those back in. We got that changed out real quick. Keep continuing on the trail continued up the trail and as you guys can see it was super slippery. Momentum was the key, just had to back up and hit it as hard as you could and hopefully you can find some traction somewhere. One part is pretty thin, we're gonna try to straddle it if we can. If not, we're gonna end up on our sides driving on the wall basically, trying to squeeze through. The wider vehicles, probably hit it straight on, see if we can get a tire on each side of the crack and uh, get up. If not, we're gonna have to get sideways, which will be really hard for us because of the wheelbase. The smaller vehicles might be able to squeeze right through the middle of it, but same thing, they might get sideways and have to work it. We got a bunch of variety of obstacles. We got a couple of big waterfalls starting on the bottom. We call it the toe, super tight, really off camber. It's a challenge for everything, short wheelbase, long wheelbase. Coming in through the toe, um, you're definitely gonna take a lot of damage through this trail. If you don't have body protection, you don't have exo cages, or you don't have some sort of protection from the elements out here, it's really gonna eat you up. If anybody wants to test their products, you know, we'll be glad to test it here. We got buggies from the south, we got buggies from the Colorados, we got buggies from the Missouris and then you're basically back of the yard, run of the mill Toyotas from $200 to $60,000 vehicles here. And you know, some days they make it, some days they don't. You know, today the weather just wasn't cooperating with us. We got a lot of damage today.
For our most recent Your Rig trip, Miranda and I took both our new Colorado 7 and Colorado Ute up to Berrima in New South Wales, where we met up with five lucky winners who'd been invited in as our weekly Your Rig features. The five winners consisted of a 2007 Discovery 3, a 92 GQ, a 2010 Hilux, a 2000 TD5, and a 96 V6 Prado. Our local guide, Andrew from Berrima Diesel, had found a suitable play area for us. And as much fun as it was, we were here to shoot some Your Rigs. Each weekly Your Rig winner takes home a considerable prize pack. But these five prize packs were on steroids. Coming in close to 50 kilograms each, I was glad to have a bed slide installed in our Colorado Ute for easy access. We'd carted this sizeable load all the way from Melbourne, and even with the steel carry boy canopy, ARB steel bull bar and side steps, the Kmar steel rear bar, 33 inch Mickey Thompson muds, and plenty more, we'd still managed a respectable 10 litres per 100 kilometres on the trip up but I was glad to unload the 250 kilograms of prizes and the winners were equally ecstatic with their gifts, which as you can see, didn't even all fit into the large ARB cargo gear carry bags. I will soon be promoting our next Your Rig trip, so stay tuned for details. But in short, I am understandably sent countless entries for this competition. Entries are categorised by location and based on the area for the next trip, invitations are emailed out to all entrants. Depending on the number of available prize packs and places on the trip, the first invitees to reply are locked in and given details of the trip. So whilst these winners struggle away with these massive prize packs, let's take a quick look at some of the contents of the current Your Rig prize pack, which includes an electric glue span set snatch strap, a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, a super mini booster 12 volt 14 amp hour jump starter, a full drive road atlas thanks to HEMA, plus a massive HEMA map of Australia. A comprehensive Holden 4x4 recovery kit. It's got everything. Bow shackles, a manual, snap strap, shovel, gloves, high gauge, a storage compartment and a uh, shock arrestor for the uh, curry winch. It's fantastic. An ARB jacket, a can of ARB emergency survival socks, an ARB Ariel stuffed toy, an ARB 4B, a drink bottle and travel mug from ARB, two copies of Wild Deer and Hunting Adventures magazine, two copies of Blitz Australia Martial Arts magazine, a copy of Dirt Comp magazine, Ooh, yeah, fantastic. one of the new Oricom 5 watt handheld UHFs, a Maxbox magnetic rifle rest from Eagle Eye Hunting Gear, a Nava USB power cup, a Donaldson diesel fuel filter kit for added inline filtration and protection, a pair of smart scissors from Keesler Knives Australia, a stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer, a Toyota Land Cruiser Legend DVD from Terrain Tamer, a Berrima diesel cap, superior engineering cap, superior engineering stubby holder, a carry boy cap, an emergency gear oil pack from 360 gearboxes and diffs, an emergency ration of Ocean Delight tuna and a pair of four-wheel drive TV small stickers. Cheers. Thank you. Watch out in coming weeks when these five Your Rigs are featured on both 4 Drive TV and 4 Drive Pro Tips. Holden's toughest 4x4 ever has arrived. Introducing the all new Holden Colorado 7. It comes with seven seats as standard and it's loaded with serious off-road grunt. 
you'll get three-ton towing and the awesome 470 newton meter Duramax diesel engine, plus an impressive weighting depth and hill descent control, all for the hardcore adventurer. The all-new Holden Colorado 7 is here. Take it off-road at your Holden dealer today. Finally, the driving light you've always wanted is here, boasting a class-leading free-form reflector and a super-tough polycarbonate lens and ABS housing. The all-new Nava Ultimate 225 is a revolutionary driving light, available in halogen, halogen blue and HID, in both spread and pencil beams, and supplied complete with a plug-and-play wiring harness and polycarbonate lens protectors. These Aussie Outback Tough Lights outshine the competition. Visit nava.com.au for more information and make the switch to the brightest lights in town. Total recovery and extraction device, TREAD. Whether it's sand, mud, snow, rocks or any tough terrain, TREAD is the ultimate all-in-one recovery device. Designed and manufactured in Australia for rugged performance, TREAD will let you explore with confidence. Available in a variety of colours and two easy to use sizes, TREAD is the true Aussie traction board you've been waiting for. For more information, visit meanmother.com.au. Hello, I'm David from Responsive Engineering. Today we're going to talk about contamination in common rail diesel. Firstly, a small explanation of the operation of common rail. Using this diagram, we have a supply pump here, which draws fuel from the fuel tank. This supply pump pressurises the fuel, comes up to what we call the common rail. Called common rail because it's common with all injectors. This high pressure fuel is then supplied to the injectors. The injectors are operated electronically with pulsing. It's a very high pressure system. It operates around 180 MPA or 30,000 pound in the old language. Makes for a vehicle with high performance, exceptional fuel economy, unless we get water in it. Water in common rail is very destructive. Damages the components, firstly our supply pump, the lines connecting to the rail, the rail itself, and ultimately the injectors. This is very expensive, given that a repair on a four-cylinder motor vehicle can cost somewhere in the vicinity of $9,000. A V6 or V8, somewhere around $15,000. It's quite an expensive occurrence. Water is the most common contaminant common rail systems. And how do we get this water in the fuel system? It can come in through a fill, and coming through river crossings via the tank breathers, which we'll speak about later. Water coming in through a fuel fill can be caused by water in the bottom of our Bowser storage tanks. This is quite common in the city, is that these Bowser tanks are filled up almost daily now. Now, what does water do to the common rail components? Predominantly because of our high pressure and our high temperatures, rust is very prevalent. It damages the supply pump, rusting components, seizing valves. It causes rust in lines, the rail is susceptible to rust and ultimately seizes the injectors due to rust and also from the water expansion in the tip of the nozzle. No vehicle is less susceptible, most common rail vehicles are quite susceptible to water damage. How do we stop our vehicle getting water in the fuel system? We have really high flow rates. Common rail draws from the tank and returns in the vicinity of 40, 50 litres an hour, and another eight, nine litres which is used. So we have a flow rate of 50, 60 litres an hour through the system. 80% of this is going back for cooling and lubrication of components. So when we get water in it, it quite rapidly is carried through the system. The other misconception is that a filter will stop water. Predominantly a filter is not designed to stop water, it's designed to control particulates. And for the purpose of that exercise, we've Got here a 0.2 of a micron filter. 0.2 gives us basically tenth of the size of the factory filter. And we'll demonstrate that water can easily pass through that filter with very little effort. So as you can see that a filter in a motor vehicle will definitely pass water. It's not going to be a barrier water entering the system. A filter is not made stop water, given that water is a liquid. In fact, water goes through a filter slightly easier than diesel. The only true way to remove water from diesel fuel is with a high quality water separator, such as WaterWatch. WaterWatch can separate the water from fuel. It can do this at 50 to 60 litres an hour flow rate. 
Coupled with that, we have a very high accuracy detection system so that once the unit is separated water from the diesel and we see around five to seven mils in the bottom, WaterWatch will detect this and send off the alarms. WaterWatch can be fitted to any diesel vehicle. It's a unique design, has won quite a number of awards. WaterWatch has a lifetime warranty. We're 100% confident in the design and the components. WaterWatch is assembled in Australia and each unit is individually tested before being sent out. For more information, follow the links on 4Wheel Drive TV website. And if you've got any questions, we'd love to hear from you. After the second part, after the toke, the next little obstacle we call is the orange climb. Initially it was just covered with orange moss and it's always kept that name. Uh, the first green buggy came up through there without not much of a problem because obviously he didn't dig out the bottom of it. Toyota came through and obviously he dug a bunch of holes and then last the, the Tennessee buggy, the single seater, he definitely dug a bunch of ditches there. Coming up to the next one, we call the first the real waterfall underneath our Hawaiian flag. Kale was the only one to make it up there today. No one's ever made it up that waterfall with water on it or running down it. That's the first time anybody's ever made it. We've tried it with many different vehicles and none of them made it. Just the Jimmy Smith buggy made it today. Yeah, today when we showed up, it's definitely a little wetter than it normally is when we come crawling, but we pretty much crawl no matter what. If everybody shows up, everybody shows up, it's going down no matter what. It's called make it or break it. And if you made it, you made it. And if you broke it, then you get as much props as if you made it. If you didn't break it and you wussed out, then I don't know what to say. Low budget. These bloggers are not hooking up very well. A lot of fun. We've had rain for the last couple days, so the trail's just slippery. The next generation of shock absorbers is here. Leading the way in 4x4 suspension development, Old Man Emu introduces the most advanced and finely tuned shock absorber on the market. Nitro Charger Sport incorporates a new valving system that instantly adapts to all terrain for an outstanding smooth ride and phenomenal control. Backed by a three year 60,000 kilometer warranty, you can trust Nitro Charger Sport, built in Australia for Australian conditions. Do you need more from your four-wheel drive suspension? 
Designed for Aussie conditions, Superior Engineering has a suspension solution to suit any four-wheel drive. Mix and match from the widest range of specialty suspension components or opt for the latest in spring and dampening technologies. Throw in the widest range of 4x4 suspension accessories and Superior Engineering is your complete 4x4 and suspension specialist. Superior Engineering, it's engineered to be superior. For more information, visit superiorengineering.com.au Warning, water in fuel is one of the biggest killers of diesel engines. But there is now a unique alarm system available that lets you know when there are dangerous water levels in your fuel system. WaterWatch is a simple and effective fuel alarm that offers LED and audible warning signals. Easily fitted, WaterWatch is inexpensive insurance for your vehicle. Avoid huge repair costs, ensure your motor runs clean and be warned of any water issues with the innovative WaterWatch. For more information, visit waterinddiesel.com.au Hi, I'm Shane Redman. This is my rig, a 92 GQ Patrol. So I've had it two years now. We've put the bull bar on it, the winch on it, the nice purple rock sliders on it, snorkel. I've got 32 mil poly blocks under it. I'd like to put a three inch lift under it, which will be coming soon. Yeah, we like going out to the zigzag, up to Nunes, up to Wadikins, and very soon we'd like to go back up to Fraser Island for a week to spend some time up there. I've got a purple bash plate coming for it next week. The front diff lock's going in early next year and a three inch lift, as I said. Then a set of 35s, which I've got sitting at home ready to go on. We've been up to Fraser Island in it. We took the family, the kids. The kids absolutely love going out full driving all the time with us. Yeah, it's a nice family time when we go out. They like to get out in the bush. The rougher the better, we like it. I scratched the purple sliders. Announcements on the next Your Rig trip and how you could be the weekly rig will be made shortly. And this week's Your Rig has won. It's an electric blue span set snatch strap, a super mini booster 12 volt 180 amp hour jump starter, a full drive road atlas thanks to HEMA, plus a massive HEMA map of Australia, a comprehensive Holden 4x4 recovery kit, an ARB jacket, a can of ARB emergency survival socks, an ARB Ariel stuffed toy, an ARB Forby, a drink bottle and travel mug from ARB, two copies of Wild Deer and Hunting Adventures magazine, two copies of Blitz Australia martial arts magazine, a copy of 4x4 Australia magazine, a copy of Dirt Comp magazine, one of the new Oricom 5 watt handheld UHFs, a magnetic rifle rest from Eagle Eye Hunting, a Nava USB power cup, a Donaldson diesel fuel filter kit for added inline filtration and protection. A bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. A pair of smart scissors from Keesler Knives Australia. A stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer. A Toyota Land Cruiser Legend DVD from Terrain Tamer. A Berrima diesel cap. Superior Engineering cap. Superior Engineering stubby holder. A Carry Boy cap. An emergency gear oil pack from 360 gearboxes and diffs an emergency ration of Ocean Delight tuna and a pair of four wheel drive TV small stickers. And it's all neatly wrapped up in an ARB carry bag. I'd like to thank Simon and Miranda and all the sponsors of the TV four wheel drive. They've had a great day and thank you very much. The massive Melbourne National 4x4 show will hit the Melbourne showgrounds over the weekend of August 23rd to 25th. A celebration of all things 4x4, there'll be plenty to see and do, industry leaders and celebrities, a show and shine, amazing outdoor excitement with the Action Arena, stacks of giveaways and plenty more. With something for everyone, the Melbourne National 4x4 show is a must-see event. Lock away August 23rd to 25th and come down and say hello to the 4 Drive TV, your 4x4 and 4 Drive Pro Tips team. And then the last part of this, what we like to call is the bonus. Merging from two waterfalls, it comes off the back, it splits off, it's got a bunch of avocado trees around it. And again, today, no one's made it up there. It's a definite equalizer. It's not much of a step up, especially with these long wheelbase buggies, but traction's a problem and this rock is really slick.
Today you've seen Keha with his buggy. He got some air that's probably his first time catching some serious air like that. So the bonus climb that you guys saw, it's super steep, so slippery that you kind of just got to hit it full throttle. Get the front tires as far up off the ground as you can, try to get the backs up to the top of the lip, but just couldn't get it today, it was just too slippery. Keha had awesome attempts at the bonus. Great show to watch, lots of tire spin. I had to try it. It just looked like so much fun and we don't get very many opportunities to, to open up our rigs and try to find red line. And then Phil with his Jimmy Smith didn't quite get as far. I think tires have a lot to do with it. I think the boggers in this kind of conditions, wet slippery rock, they don't do very well in here unlike the pitbulls. A lot more sticky, they work a lot better. If the conditions were changed and this riverbed is really dry, and Phil would have done a lot better. He probably would have made the bonus. If you want to get into rock hauling, just it's all about having fun, dude, and breaking stuff. I mean, don't think you're not gonna come rock calling and put all the money in the world and not break anything. Everything breaks, that's how it goes, and it's just fun, it's something different. You watch, you watch this video and we're going down. We're actually, we're not happy unless we get stuck and break all day. If we're not getting stuck and break all day, then basically it sucks. You gotta give her, you gotta give her, dude. So as you guys saw, it's not always about the high dollar buggies. You can have a Toyota truck with just the right parts, a driver with the right mentality. Anybody can participate and have a good time. Well, thank you for tuning in for another big episode of Four Wheel Drive TV. Back bigger and better next week, don't miss it. I'm Simon Christie, tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. I look forward to your company next week.